Beautiful vine tomatoes. The riper the tomatoes, the better the soup. Take the core out. Get your thumb and place it half a centimetre underneath the tip of your knife. Place it in and then just twist round. That's the only part of the tomato that we're not using. Red onion and garlic. Red onion because it's sweeter than a white onion. Slice your onions and your garlic. Nice and fine. Traditionally, you'd be making it in a pot. It's so much better to start it off on top of the stove, searing the tomatoes and the garlic. When it goes in the oven, you actually roast the tomatoes and they don't stew. There's a big difference in flavour. Be quite generous with the olive oil. It makes the soup nice and glossy, shiny. Salt, pepper, and then a little teaspoon of cayenne. It just gives it that heat, but it's not as fierce as chilli. Take your tomatoes and just slice them in half. And then a little touch of sugar. That's going to help intensify the sweetness. A little sprinkle of aged balsamic vinegar. It gives that nice, dark, rich acidity to the soup. Into the oven, 20, 25 minutes, 180. To make my soup even more irresistible, I'm going to make a punchy sun-dried tomato pesto to drizzle over the top. Now, I'm making this in a pestle and mortar because you feel so much more in control and you're not depending on a blade that's whizzing around at 1,000 miles an hour. Next, in a dry pan, toast off some pine nuts. Toast them to the absolute max and then in. The smell in there is incredible. Parmesan. Lightly grate that. And this is where it starts to become creamy. Extra virgin olive oil. Doesn't need salt because the parmesan's going to season it for you. And just take a couple of tablespoons of the oil that the sun-dried tomatoes were in. Really helps to make that stunning pesto. I can smell those roasted tomatoes. Want them out? Wow. Next, pour in a little vegetable stock or chicken stock so it sits halfway up the tomatoes. Put your spoon through those tomatoes. They break up instantly. Bring that up to the boil. Let it simmer for three or four minutes. I want to make it a little bit more creamy now. Cream in. Give that a little stir. You can keep it rustic and get your masher in. And you've got that nice, thick, rich, chunky tomato soup. Or get yourself a stick blender. Blitzing it like that, you delays the bottom of the pan and you get all those amazing flavours from the bottom. Mm. That's delicious. To make my lunch extra hearty, I'm going to knock up a deliciously gutsy version of cheese on toast to go with my tomato soup. Welsh rabbit, an absolute classic. I'm going to make a roux. 50 grams of butter, three nice tablespoons of flour. And that's all a roux is, basically. Traditionally, you would use flour, butter and milk. But in Welsh rabbit, the milk is often cheekily substituted for a stiff slug of stout. It gives it that strong, gutsy flavour. I want it nice and thick. Make sure those lumps are out. With a nice teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then season it. A nice and spicy with Worcestershire sauce. It gives it that delicious, intriguing flavour. Now that smells amazing. Almost brings tears to your eyes. Beautiful. Now. Welsh rabbit wouldn't be a stunning Welsh rabbit without rich, mature cheese. So, and a great Montgomery cheddar. Goes well with the beer. And drop that in. Really important to put this in while the roux is still nice and hot because the cheese melts. Now, for the bread. I prefer a good rustic country loaf that will stand up to my hardcore topping. I want that nice crisp base to my Welsh rabbit. So toast it, both sides. Spread that beautiful, cheesy, beery, spicy mixture. Just great. Got a blister and bubble and gratinate. God. A little splash. Alien Perry. And back under the grill for 90 seconds. In one delicious, creamy, roasted. Tomato soup. It's coming back to me all those days I had off school. I used to purposely lie about feeling ill just to get a bowl of my mother's tomato soup. How bad was that? 
but my God, it was worth it. Oh. Now, a Welsh rabbit. Mm. Look at those babies. That just takes cheese on toast to another level. Wow. Roasted, creamy tomato soup with a sun-dried tomato pesto served with the most amazing, delicious Welsh rabbit. I feel like ringing sick. <laughs>